Hello everyone, so this video is about the model question papers of advanced VLSI subject. Uh, subject code is 21 ECE 71. So there are two question papers, I mean two model question papers. So um, it will be helpful for your V2 examinations. So yeah, please uh, refer these two model question papers. Um, uh, this subject is uh, like a bit difficult subject. So please don't neglect this subject. Uh, uh, just practice these two model question papers okay so these are the uh, questions i'll just scroll down so you can download this pdf um, from the btu website okay so yeah these are the questions from module 3 about uh, vlsi design see in module 1 um, important questions uh, is like uh, this one asic uh, design flow um, it's about asics in module 2 it's about uh, floor planning goals and objectives important question module 3 verification process and constraint random stimulus associative arrays kind of question and in module 4 um, uh, differentiate between tasks and functions separating test bench and uh, design verification uh, stimulus timing uh, system verilog uh, role of assertions in system verilog in random why it's about uh, uh, in module 5 sorry in module 5 it's about randomization and uh, explain how random numbers can be generated uh, so that kind of question and um, explain strategies for improving functional coverage during simulation uh, and coverage types also important question next uh, in model question paper 2 this is model question paper 2 see here also asic design flow question is there so this is uh, important question then booth multiplier question is also repeated so this is also important question then standard cell based asic and git array based asic carry skip error uh, and in or part maybe you like uh, in part a you will get uh, questions based on asic design flow and uh, booth multiplier and in part b like you might get questions based on the adders and input output cells and data path elements then in module 2 it's about uh, the yeah goals and objectives of load planning placement and routing global routing methods then um, clock planning power planning um, min cut placement iterative placement then global routing between blocks with the diagrams concept of measurement of delay yeah just practice these two papers it's uh, more than enough uh, for your exams then in module 3 verification process different types of array methods uh, note on built-in data types then factors in randomizing the stimulus to design various test bench components constants and uh, strings in system very low in module 4 tasks and void functions the entertaining of array with a function passing an array to a function uh, routing uh, routine arguments with necessary examples concept of separating a test bench and design in system verilog with an example is important question and write a short note on procedural statements in system verilog and modify uh, about uh, randomization problems coverage types important question then measuring coverage statistics during simulation various random numbers generated in system verilog is also important and functional coverage strategies and explain them in detail and uh, list the various random number functions and explain them in brief so these are the important questions um, for your youtube exam purpose uh, like from two model question papers so you can download this uh, pdf from the vtu website okay so all the best for your exams um, thank you